Hey guys, today's video is on the new Pi Pico versus the Arduino Nano. The Pi Pico has finally arrived. I ordered it Friday, came Tuesday, uh, so that's today, so not too long. So this is the actual board here. If you take a nice good look at this. So we've got the main processor there. Uh, we've got a temperature sensor, the boot slept, uh, micro USB. It's quite thin. And then on the back, you see all the GPOs down the side, GPIOs. Um, and then this is the Nano. So the Nano is slightly different. You've got the reset button said, the main chip, uh, the um, you've got the Nano USB in, then you've got some chips on the back. So difference in size wise, you've got the Pico being slightly longer. The actual PCB board, the Nano is slightly bigger, but not by much. And then it's just really the fact there's extra electronics on the back of here as well as the depth of this connector. So it's quite smaller in general than the Nano. So let's go over the main specs. So the first spec of the Nano starting with, uh, it's quite a basic board. Very good if you're switching from uh, Uno into your finishing state. So it's got an 80 mega 328 microcontroller off racing voltage of 5 volts, 22 digital inputs and outputs of which 6 are PWM, so that's pulse width modulation, 8 analog inputs slash outputs, a clock speed of 16 MHz, 32 kilobytes of flash memory and 2 kilobytes of SRAM, so it's not got quite a lot there in the specs. Um, it did come out in 2008, its first release, so it's not going to be very high tech. Then you've got the Pico. So the Pico has got a dual core ARM Cortex M0 Plus processor. Flexible clock speed, so it's around about 48, but it goes up to 133. It's got 264 kilobytes of SRAM, so a lot more compared to that. Two megabytes of onboard flash memory. So again, a lot more compared to this one. 26 multiple function GPIO pins, two SPI, two I to C, two UART, three 12 bit ADC, so that's analog digital conversion, 16 PWM, so that's pole switch modulation. It's got an accurate clock and timer on the chip itself, as well as a temperature sensor, which is just there. So it's going to be a lot better than this one, especially with timing. If you're doing any sort of projects like that, uh, you could use the onboard clock. Whereas with this, you'd need to get an external module if you want to do anything with a clock. Uh, they both have um, a little light pin. So there's the L, uh, which should be pin 13. And on this one, it's just down there, which is on pin 25. So all in all, this board I think is better. It got released 2021, so of course it's going to be a bit more advanced than 2008. Um, very lightweight. It also runs MicroPython and C++, uh, so you can choose which one you want to run. Whereas the Nano has to use Arduino software, which is like a C++ sort of um, programming language. Uh, to upload your scripts. On this one you need to use the IDE and you'll upload straight in from the computer. With this one it's a mass storage, where it's like a mass storage, so like um, it's like plugging in a USB stick and you click and drag your files onto it for it to run. I hope you guys enjoyed that video. Uh, if you did you'll like this video here on how to get started with the Pi Pico. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe, it'll really help me out and yeah more videos coming soon. So I'll see you guys soon.